Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, the Infinity Saga Thor The Dark World Thor figure. This is another one that's a kind of an interesting one. Did we need another Dark World Thor? No, probably not, but that one that figure was only available in a two-pack with Lady Sif. Um, and then prior to that, it, the same body mold, I think different arms, but same body mold was actually you came out in a uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron uh, four pack exclusive to Amazon. So this figure wasn't readily available, you know, to get potentially just not not as a single release. So I can understand this one um, coming out a little bit. But again, we did have a Thor, the Dark World Thor uh, previous already. I will say that the head sculpt on this new one. The, the face print and everything looks a lot more like Chris Hemsworth. So I don't know if the head sculpt itself is different, but the hair is the same or, or what's going on with it. But it looks a whole hell of a lot better. It really, really does. And then we also get this second goofy ass head, which I think is new. I don't remember getting a goofy head before, but at the same time, it's why do we have that goofy ass head for Thor the Dark World? He, this is when Thor was still pretty serious, right? He, he wasn't. He didn't turn super comedic. I mean, obviously, there's always little comedy spots in the movies and whatnot. Um, but it, it just seems odd. Not that, you know, it's not a welcome addition to any, you know, figure to get extra stuff. Um, I feel like it's a, it is a it is a bit out of place. Um, but, you know, it is, that's just me. Uh, but anyway, I got my set from ToySnowman.com, so make sure to check them out. Link in the video description below. Uh, they're based in Canada, and they are there for all your action figure needs, whether it's all the Hasbro stuff, you know, the Marvel, Power Rangers, Black Series, G.I. Joe, um, or your import figure stuff, or your DC Multiverse, McFarland toy stuff. Make sure to check them out, ToySnowman.com. Link in the video description below. That is my referral link. It'll get, hook you up with a 5% off coupon code when you create your account for first-time buyers. Uh, Thor, the Dark World Infinity Saga. We got the Dark World logo up at the front and the top. Uh, the bio reads, the mighty Thor once again wields his thunder-powered hammer Mjolnir against a sinister gathering darkness that threatens to eclipse the nine realms of the cosmos. Okay. Um, the dark Thor the Dark World, we got Thor, we got Sif, we got another Thor, and those are the only figures from the Dark World that we got. I would love to get a cursed, you know, big deluxe figure. Um, and then a Malekith figure, or and some army builder Dark Elves, you know, that that would be awesome. But, we have another Thor, so let's get him out of the box and check him out. Okay, so here's the Thor figure out of the package. And yeah, it's pretty good, and I think, I'm pretty sure this is actually a new Chris Hemsworth head sculpt, but the hair piece is going to be the same. But one thing that's odd about this one, and I thought it was kind of odd about the Iron Man figure, it's like you're updating these figures, or giving us a new version of these figures, you would think you would want it to be as screen accurate as possible. And, for, and so less paint apps... Do, hurts it right because it, do, it doesn't make sense it's like why do you remove paint apps when those paint apps are accurate to the movie it, it's it's you know it's shortcuts and cutting corners and it's just like well what what the hell was the point of that why why do that because it cheapens it right like why why would you do that so looking at the pants all black on the pants so they, he didn't get any paint on his legs but here you notice the the silver kind of chain mail um, the armor design of his legs that is accurate to the movie this is not so the old one that we got was very accurate to the movie already and it wasn't a terrible figure it was a solid release the problem was it was in a two-pack with lady sif so you couldn't get thor by himself sure but then why why re-release it to do that i mean sure we get the updated head sculpts and stuff that's that's awesome that's great i love that but then why do that i don't i don't get it I don't understand. Like, it, it just that part doesn't make sense to me. Why? Why they do that? Um, you know, if you're gonna re-release the figure, cool. Okay, I understand. I get it. Other collectors will have the chance, but don't then don't make don't do the shortcuts. Like, <laughs> just give us the same paint apps if it's screen accurate. Like, if if the all black pants were more accurate to the movie, sure, go for it. But when I just looked up images, the silver is correct to the movie. So. Follow what the movie design is the best that you can. Like, you know, do that. Not, 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 not remove the paint apps. So, um, that sucks. Uh, if you don't have this Thor figure, this is a good one to pick up. I will say, yes, it's absolutely a good one to pick up. Slightly less accurate because there's no silver armor on his legs. The paint is missing. But the head sculpt 
is a hell of a lot better. Like, a lot, lot better. Like, it's really good. The other one didn't really look like Chris Hemsworth. This one absolutely does. And then on top of that, we get this goofy-ass head sculpt that, I, I mean, it's okay. It looks like Chris Hemsworth, but I'm like, it doesn't fit Thor The Dark World. It just doesn't. It, it doesn't make sense. Um... But, you know, it's there. It's actually the same hairpiece. So, you know, oops, I, as I was still zoomed out, you can see. It's actually the same hairpiece. Uh, so it is just a different head sculpt. So, you know, you could use this one for a different Thor figure or something like that. I, I don't know that this head sculpt will really match anything other than um, kind of uh, Love and Thunder Thor or uh, 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 Ragnarok. But we don't have the correct suit to match um, the Ragnarok look, so, you know, eh, there's, there's that whole ordeal there, but let's go ahead and get in for a closer look at these head sculpts. Okay, so here is a Chris Hemsworth as I try and get him to better stand. All of a sudden, he's, like, leaning back. Uh, the cape, um, is long enough to where it doesn't quite hit the ground when he's standing up straight, but if you lean him back just a little bit, the cape will help support the, the, the figure to stand. Uh, but looking at that head sculpt, solid Chris Hemsworth head sculpt. I think that looks really good. It's probably one of their best for sure. Um, as you can see, the previous Thor, The Dark World, it, I mean, could you pass that off as a Chris Hemsworth likeness? Sure, sure, I think you could. But looking at these two together, Definitely a whole hell of a lot better. Now, at first I was thinking, could it just be the updates to the digital print to make it look better? You know, is that really what it is? But then kind of looking at it, I feel like the eye sockets, you know, are just are a little bit different. Maybe I'm wrong in that, but to me, uh, they look different. And the big tail is actually the ears. So, yeah, the ears are different. That's the big way to tell if the head sculpts um, are the same or, or different. So, you can see we do get it a whole hell of a lot better. The golds are different colors between these two. We had a much brighter gold. We're more bronzish gold on this new one. Which one's going to be more accurate? I, I guess it just kind of depends on lighting and, and whatnot. Um, but you know, that's, that's kind of the key difference there. The, the chainmail armor on his arms, we get a more metallic look where we kind of got a pretty flat gray on the previous one. So this is updated. Um, this is, I would consider this an upgrade. Sure. But you know, the missing paint, ah, still sucks and pisses me off, but, uh, is what it is. Uh, looking at here, I had some sloppy ass red paint on the inside there. Um, it's a much cleaner look now. As you can see, I mean, it's just a way, way cleaner look. So how they applied the paint is just much better this time around. Um, but that's still fairly minimal. Like, it doesn't bother me that much. But, you know, it, it, it definitely makes a big difference because that's pretty damn sloppy. Um, but that could be also one-off on mine, not, you know, necessarily all of them. Uh, for the accessories, we do get a Mjolnir here. And I think this is kind of one of those newer Mjolnirs because look at that damn, like, fill line cut there that's just ugly as hell and that's probably going to be like with most of them because i think it has something to do with the molding and how it's all connected or something um i don't think that's the first time i've seen that on one of my mjolnirs so that kind of sucks the handle looks good nice silver paint there throughout and then just kind of brown uh there so mjolnir looks good um, and then we also get an extra set of hands. So out of the package, he has these two open hands. And then he also comes with two grip hands. So you could grip Mjolnir. They have the vertical hinge to do that. Um, and then again, the goofy head sculpt, which I went ahead and put on the Thor Love and Thunder body. It fits on there, but he's got such a massive neck. Um, and the head sits a little higher than you would want it to. So it looks kind of funky, but you know, some people will dremel out the peg hole a little bit in there. Um, and I think this Thor head sculpt could work for your Thor love and thunder because again, it's the goofy look. This was a stupid, goofy movie and not in a good way at all. Like it was a bad movie. Um, you know, this, this could be something that you, you know, you would want to try. Um, so you have that option there. So I'm going to pop this head off and we're going to put it on this Thor body to see how it looks. It's going to be on there one time and then I'm going to take it off because I don't really like it all that much to be honest with you. Oh, there was no hinge on this body. Damn. On this neck. That's wild. Okay. So there is goofy Thor. This head sculpt does look much better on this body as that's what it was designed to do. Uh, but again, just does not fit the Thor, the Dark World look. So, um, yeah, that, that, there it is. But looking at the details of the rest of the figure, lots of sculpted details in the boots and the pants and things. And then the torso pieces, lots going on. Big ass red uh, heavy cape there, textured inside. It's not removable. 
So there we go. Now let's check out the articulation. Okay, the articulation for Thor. So yes, there's no hinge on the neck. The hair, it, you wouldn't be able to do anything with, with it anyway. So he can't look up, he can't look down. You can do a little bit of side to side, and that's all you're going to be able to do. The arms, a little stiff, but you can get them to go straight on out, which is good, as you can see there. You can do a full rotation, but please keep in mind that there, the shoulder armor comes out a little bit, and then the cape is there. So it's best to just avoid that, so you can kind of move around the, you know, the arm uh, that much easily there. Uh, we got the upper bicep swivel in there. Double jointed uh, elbow gives you that much bend really nice there are pins as these arms have are, are quite old now at this point um, as well so we did not get pinless pinless would be much better because of the the scale mail design the pins are the same color which is all good and great but when you have like the texture design then it throws it off uh, pinless would be much better wrists swivel they do hinge the open hands have the standard horizontal hinge the grip hands for Mjolnir do have the vertical hinge so that is good uh, we got a diaphragm cut on Thor and I don't remember him being able to move around a whole lot so tilt to the left that much, tilt to the right uh, that much there. Going back is a little bit, but the cape is just really going to get in the way anyway. Coming forward is only a little bit, as you can see there. So uh, that's a little unfortunate. You do have the swivel uh, there at the diaphragm cut. There is no waist swivel on this guy, but the legs go out that far apart. It can kick forward that far the skirt piece is soft enough that it kind of moves up a little bit so kick up really far doesn't really go back on the leg upper thigh cut in there double jointed pinned knee reused legs of course so that much bend uh there at the knee uh there's no boot swivel of any kind foot hinges all the way down you get tiny bit of hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet and again it can be difficult to stand in certain poses because the cape is back heavy so it wants to lean back but then the good thing is the cape will just help support the figure it just you know he's he's constantly leaning back otherwise you'd have to like lean him forward a little bit and try and get it to stand um, it does make it for a little bit tricky a cloth cape would be awesome but you know hasbro doesn't do that sort of thing unfortunately uh would be nice if one day they decided to okay so for your side-by-side -side details here we have a look at the two again the new one I, I will say does look a little bit better um the chris emsworth head sculpt um head sculpts both of them are are a nice improvement the metallic arms the armor on the metallic the metallic armor on the arms uh do look a lot better as well um the gold on the original release does you know stand out a lot more which isn't it, it, which brings my eye to it more, not to say that this one looks bad, uh, but I do like that gold, uh, that, that brighter gold armor throughout the figure just because it looks better. Um, <clears throat> it was, I, I would say this one's probably a little bit more screen accurate, kind of toned down a little bit, not as bright. Um, so we have that there. So, you know, if you have the previous version, this is one that you can skip on. You don't, you don't really need it unless you really want the updated Chris Hemsworth Ed Sculpt. It is really, really nice. It is. It really is. Um, I would like to see, you know, a Thor from the first Avengers movie. <clears throat> only because we have one, but it's not really great. I would like to see a proper Legends version of that. Uh, that would be awesome. There's other suits from Thor the Dark World. The road-worn Thor would be amazing to have. The um, In Love and Thunder, the suit that he wore at the beginning of the movie would be amazing to have. Um, so lots of different Thors would be cool, but you know we got ended up getting Thor the Dark World one again. Again, it, it did not get a single release in the past. You know, it kind of... It's kind of the same as the Age of Ultron Thor. Um, so that was in an exclusive four pack, right? And then the Dark World and the two pack was Sif. So to have a single pack release Thor in this in this look, um, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. But it's one that I don't think we really needed as much either. But you guys let me know in the comments below on your thoughts on that. Did you miss out on the Thor before? Did you need this Thor? What do you think of it? Let me know. Okay, so there is the Infinity Saga wave of 2023. Will these um, Infinity Saga releases continue to happen? I kind of hope so. You know, I I still, overall, I think it's better for the, the collecting community when they're able to have access to figures that they want. And if there's figures that they don't want, they have, of course, they have the decision to not buy them. Does that mean less figures for them? I guess kind of, yes. You know, that, that I guess from that aspect, it does suck. Uh, but then it also saves you, saves you some money, you know, if it's something that you can pass on. Uh, but I think for the MCU collectors, you know, there's a lot of us out there and we, we like them. There's a lot of folks that like both and that's okay, 
right? Um, but again, all the new newer collectors, the MCU brings in you know you know new fans every single year. While the MCU quality may not be the same as the time that these movies um, that had come out. Um, it, again, it, you know, there's still new people that are coming in, you know, liking the MCU, loving what they're doing, wanting action figures for characters that they had seen in the previous movies that maybe didn't see them when they came out or were too young, um, you know, or just wasn't a fan quite much at that point, you know, so the, and again, this gives people those opportunities to get some of these figures that were pretty cool, hard to get, didn't get single releases, etc. whatever the, the you know, it, it's going to vary between them all. So, you know, it gives people the chance. I think that's pretty cool. I think that is a good thing overall. You know, we look at secondary market on figures, how things get super expensive and you wish you could have this look or that look. Um, you know, this this is a chance. Will we get every single one that we want every single time? No. We we, we know that Hasbro is going to make some, some decisions that we don't understand why they do it. There has to be a good reason. I don't think we'll ever understand all the full reasonings for it. You know, I'm sure they have data to support um, all those different decisions that for us, sometimes on the outside or on the inside, trying to look at it, we're like, no, that doesn't make sense. When in actuality, they do. Like this Mark 46 Iron Man, that might be one of the top sellers in the wave for all I know. I, I really don't know. I assume that it won't be, but I could absolutely be wrong on that. Um, it's just kind of one of those things that, you know, it, we will never understand a multi-billion dollar corporation and the greed that they have to release certain figures to maximize their profit and make the most money. All we can understand is they're here to make money however they can. Sometimes it's shortcuts and missing paint apps on hip pieces or leg pieces or whatever the case may be. It sucks. That's the things that we should be questioning. Like, why are you not putting paint there when the previous ones had gotten before? And these are just reissues, repaints. Like put that paint on there. Like I'm not. I can't argue with the, your decision to release this this figure. I can. I can wonder why. But the paint apps. That those are the things that to me are a little bit more unacceptable um, than the actual character release that they do. So if you're gonna re-release figures to make them. To, to not necessarily make them more movie accurate, you should take that opportunity to make them more movie accurate and do the correct paint apps, especially if we got those same paint apps before. That's the big criticism for like this wave here. In general, overall, I am happy to get MCU figures, add more characters to my collection. So the Bruce Banner, the Iron Man Mark II, those are truly new ones to, that I can add to my collection that make it better. The other ones aren't because we I have them already, but it does give me other options to display. Like the Steve Rogers, the Captain America, it can you use this unmasked head sculpt because it's so much better. Or I could pop an Endgame head on there and just use this figure for Endgame since he wore that suit in there. Black widow you know i had that international release version so i can have the wavy hair for my first avengers movie if i didn't have that one that never came out in the u.s i could have used uh, you know one of the black widows for avengers age of uh for the first avengers movie the spider-man i can now display with an unmasked head sculpt half mask like when he got knocked out by giant man would have been pretty cool but it gives people a chance there Thor of the Dark World, I could do the goofy head, and I probably will, but I don't really like it much because it feels out of place, but it does look pretty good. One of those things. Um, the, the Civil War Iron Man, I already have an unmasked head, but that's a battle damage version, so this gives me another display option. The War Machine, though, is a little funky because there is not a single thing new to it, um, which sucks. Like, you know, if all the other ones that can have something new... Um, War Machine is the one that has nothing new. So that one is unfortunate. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below on this entire wave as a whole. Uh, let me know what you think of the Thor the Dark World movie figure here um, in this review. Let me know all in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective um, and show support for the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching.